so today's problem is I've got all my yellow birch from the mill. Uh, it's all been rough cut. But now I've got to go through and straighten up the edges. I mean, sure, we all love to have the joiners and everything. And you can just plane it and join it. And that's fine. That can work. Except for the fact that as you look here, you see where it has some really big, you know, ups and downs and peaks and valleys on the edge. That's not going to work on a planer. I mean, my God, you're going to sit there all day and trim off a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. It's just not going to work out that well. So what we need to do today is come up with a jig that we can run these through the saw. So what I originally done, uh, because I had some five foot locks milled, is I came up with this here. Looks a lot like a tapering jig, really. And pretty much that's all it is. Uh, and I would put those five foot sections on here, clamp them underneath here, and run them through the table saw. And it worked out very well. Uh, but now, I've got some of these sections here that are, well, like eight foot long, maybe even a little bit longer. Yeah, this one here is exactly eight foot. I've got some over there that are closer to nine foot or so. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a jig that you can put these boards down into and run a circular saw through it uh, to square up your edges. And that's what I'm going to go ahead and make out of this sheet of particle board behind me. And I'm going to show you today how to go ahead and make that jig so that you can square up any end um, on, your, uh, on your milled wood. Uh, you should be able to even use this here if you have a long piece of, uh, of dimensional lumber uh, to go ahead and throw that in there uh, to make sure that you've got one edge that's perfectly straight and uh, it's pretty simple pretty easy to make we're going to need a couple hinges and most of that sheet of particle board and uh, we'll be good and this is what I came up with a little bit more than a sheet of particle board I used some scraps that I had laying around um, we've got a nice tray here, in which we will put our material in to be trimmed down. And a lid with a track for the circular saw to ride down. All I've got to do now is actually cut a hole in here uh, for our circular saw and then give it a test. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. Can you fill up the um, wire gun thing? I thought your mother was filling it. Okay, we just ran our first board through and filled up the uh, pumper for the water balloon fight the kids are going to have. Um, I know during the winter I used to point out how cold it was. Uh, today it's 80 degrees, so let's see, that's about 120 degrees warmer 
uh, than when I started this whole table saw project. That's pretty warm. So, I ran it through. I've got a nice straight edge here, nice straight edge here, but still got a lot of dips. This board here in particular was very curved, so that's real easy to do. We just put it back in, run it right to the straight line, close our lid, run it back through one more time, and this board is done. I mean, done enough that we can run it through the table saw to square up the other end. Cool little tool, it'll get a lot of use. It's very heavy, it's going to be hard to store, um, but I'll probably put it up in the rafters of the garage or something. It won't be used every day, but uh, still, works good. Give it a shot if you need to square up some edges on boards. Uh, it's an inch and a half thick. Uh, most of my boards are cut to an inch thick at the mill, so that'll work out well. Uh, if ever I need to, I can just simply pop the hinges off. Uh, put a spacer in there and raise it up higher. Uh, the only problem with that is, of course, my circular saw. This is the uh, maximum of its step that it can go. Um, some ways to get around that is maybe with this uh, the top here, uh, knock that down to only a quarter inch uh, instead of a three quarter inch part of the board. That'll also help lighten things up quite a bit. Uh, that's one option that you've got. Uh, I'll buy an extra half an inch of cut depth. Uh, but yeah, play around with it, see what you can do. Um, works great. Alright, 